This is Derek from Creative Knots. Today we're going over the wood shop texture kit. This is a very cool kit that gives you the ability to easily add uh, stylized wood to a design project that you're working on. And let's just get to it. Now, first things first, I always go over this. You know, in order to install the styles and the patterns, the first thing you want to do is we're going to go over styles, click on window, and click on styles. From here, there's a little hamburger icon menu. Click that. Then you're going to click load styles. Now, when you click load styles, you have to navigate to where you unzip the file at that you downloaded. And from there, you uh, double click on the .asa ASL file and it will load it up and it will look something similar to this. Now, for patterns, the easiest way that I know how to do it is click on your paint bucket tool. Then go up here where it says foreground, change it to pattern. Click the drop down, click the icon where it has the gear, and then go to load patterns and go through the same process where you locate where you unzip the file and you're going to double click on the .pat file. After that, it'll load it up in here. So let's get to it. I already have a default little thing here. Now the easiest way to get started, of course, is going to be using the layers uh, styles palette. Now, one thing I like to do is select one that I like and let's go with this red mahogany and now that we have it you say hey I want to change the, the scale of the pattern so what I do is you can either double click on the pattern overlay over here in your layers palette or right click on the layer in question and then go to blending options up here at the top from there you click on pattern and then here we can change the scale so here we can change it to 25 100 50, 10, which, you know, you can, it's, it's illegible. 5 or 2 or 1. Now, if you blow it up more than 100%, it gets blurry. You do not want to do that. It does not look good. If you go below, if you go in between 150, it's going to look blurry too. Now, it doesn't look as blurry because I'm on a 4K monitor. But if you're on a 1080p monitor, it's going to look blurry, trust me. So rule of thumb is you're probably going to be working in 100, 25, or 50. So for this, let's choose 50. Hit OK. I'm going to do the same thing here. But this time, I'm going to uh, fill it in. So let's do this. Oh, I messed up. Sorry. Let's go back. I meant to f use the fill. Now for the fill... Just drop down, and if you want to just use the paint bucket tool, old school, you can do that. Just choose a dark one, and then just click, and it would add add it to you, to, to your layer. Now, clearly with this method, you don't get the flexibility of the patterns, so you can't really edit it after you do this. So I tend to stay away from that, but everybody has their way of working in here. So whatever is easiest for you is what I suggest. Now, rather than going to the style itself, let's just go to the pattern overlay, and let's just choose a style, I mean a pattern. And let's go to the one that I had before. It was like a dark burned look. There we go, like a charcoal. And then from here, you can just change it. So to me, this would be the easiest way to go about doing it. Now, what's really great about these styles is that they're 100% seamless, which means, you know, there is no, you can't detect where the beginning or the end is to these let's go up to 100 percent so as you can see it's seamless you'll never see the beginning you'll never see the end it looks great and let's just kind of go through all the uh, different patterns or textures that are available so we have this one looks kind of like you know uh, wood fence or uh, planks we have we have another one again and this one looks really great because it has that fine swirl um, wood grain effect and again all seamless this is more of like a driftwood this is more of just a, a, a light colored I don't even know what to call that you know <laughs> I don't know what to call it it's okay so you may have a name for it again it's more like an old style uh, wood this is more like an oak tree bark very cool. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, there's so many cool things that you can do. Um, this is one of my favorites. 
this is a really beautiful one as well so as you can see there's just a ton of uh not a ton i mean there's 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 a good amount that you can play around with and you know you can even change the color if you go hey i don't like i don't like this color you know just go to fx go to co color overlay and then for your blend mode go to color and you can just change the color you know if you want to do something cool or you know, artsy you know you can just change the color let's say you go hey i like this color then you can uh whoops sorry about that then you can just go ahead and just uh again blow th through the different patterns and find the one that you like you know you could even do a, a gradient overlay if you wanted to as well so you know let's just do this clearly this isn't something that you know i would personally use but um it just gives you an idea of what's possible how you could possibly use these um it, it, there's a lot of neat things you can do with it so let me just kind of go over some of the preview images that you've probably seen here just kind of just shows you all the textures we already seen that let me go ahead and close out of that here shows you where i used it on some shapes and you know i didn't i didn't spend a whole, whole lot of time doing this i just kind of wanted to give you the the an idea of you know what's possible with it so that's kind of cool with the western theme here basically just showing you some different types that you know it basically works with text as well and then for here i kind of had it more of a wood sign look i guess if you want to say it like look at it that way kind of mixing and matching some things this is really cool you know like a little sign or something like that again another little sign kind of reminds me of like san francisco baseball or something so that's it Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you guys enjoy, guys and girls, I always do that, I'm sorry. Hope that you enjoy the product. I'd love to see what you, you, you come up with, uh, with your design projects. You know, if you have any suggestions, how it could be better, please let it be known. And until next time, be safe and uh, look forward to seeing you. Bye.